Hi, what's up everyone? So last week I placed a maternity order on Pink Blush and today I wanted to do a first impressions slash try on of all the pieces that I got. I have not ordered anything from Pink Blush before but I see their ads all the time and I know they're kind of in the middle price range when it comes to maternity clothing. So far throughout my pregnancy I've steered more towards affordable clothing but with the warmer weather coming up, let's cross our fingers, uh, I'm ready to wear some dresses and I thought I would place an order to see if it's worth spending maybe a little bit more to be able to find a few fun pieces, some dresses to mix in with my wardrobe already. Luckily, they do run promotions most of the time, so usually you can actually get a few pieces for a very reasonable price. I have not tried on any of the dresses yet, but we'll do that together and we will see what's good. So the first piece that we have is this long sleeve blue floral maxi dress and it ties, I don't know if you can see it, but it ties around the waist right here. It has a really pretty v-neck in the front and one thing that I really like about this is it's actually kind of a light beige or uh, nude color instead of white. Sometimes I think white can look a little bit cheap, but I love that it's very natural and nude. It feels very thick and very stretchy. And yeah, I'm excited to try this. All right, so here's the dress and it's very flowy, very comfortable. It's a V neckline right here, kind of a wrap in front has a tie here, three quarter length sleeves, and it's a maxi dress. I'm wearing a size small. I'm 5'7 for reference. This is the side. It has two layers. This outer layer is very stretchy that has the print on it. And then inside it has another liner, which is really nice. It's a very heavy dress, so it feels very secure and comfortable. It doesn't feel thin in any way. For shoes, I just have it paired with some strappy nude uh, slip-on heels. These are from Target. This dress would be perfect for a wedding, a baby shower, and it's just very flowy, very comfortable. So the next item that I have is this red midi self-tie smocked dress. The bottom is smocked at the bottom. I'm usually not one to go for smocked things, but in this case it looked really cute. I liked the ties. It seemed very comfortable. The material on this reminds me of buttery leggings, so I'm really excited about that. Again, it's very stretchy and let's try it out. All right, so here's the dress. I really like this actually. It's very comfortable, like I said material reminds me of a buttery soft legging which in dress form how amazing is that the ties here are real ties they aren't faux or anything which is nice because you can adjust them to what's comfortable and what works for you i'm wearing a size small and i just have it paired with these cute little studded sandals from target yeah this dress is so cute so comfortable uh, next I have this mocha and navy midi maxi dress. I liked that this the colors were a little bit neutral in here, so I thought we'd give it a go. So here is the dress. I just have it paired with the same nude strappy sandals. I love the slit at the bottom, which is really nice. Here's the side. The material is similar to the red dress that I just tried on. It's a very buttery, soft kind of stretchy material. Very stretchy, I should say. I'm wearing a size small for reference and true to size for sure. The neckline is really nice. It's a nice crew neck and nice thick straps, which I appreciate because then you can just wear a normal bra. You don't have to worry about your straps showing. Again, like any of the other dresses, you really could just throw on a denim jacket or a cardigan. 
and you're good to go. So the next dress I have is this really pretty cream and floral. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, maxi dress. This, I won't lie, this typically isn't really my style. I'm not a huge floral person, but I actually, I just thought it looked really, really pretty and very feminine. And I don't know, I thought we'd try it. So I was really excited to try this dress and I think it's really pretty, but it definitely does not fit as well as any of the others that I've tried. I'm wearing a size small. I do love the straps here. I think they're really cute, feminine. It also has this lace up detail right here, which is really nice. The part that doesn't fit me very well or is not very comfortable in this dress is right in here. So if I pull the dress all the way down, I have a huge gap here. I don't really fill out this top part very well. And then this elastic part, it hits, I feel like it hits my belly at a really weird spot. So ideally I would like it right here, but it's here. So it just, it feels very awkward. And same with the back. I, I feel like the back, this is hitting me at a weird spot. I know if you pull this up, let me pull it up in the back. Obviously it'll look a little bit more flattering, but then on the side, I just don't, I don't know. So I would say if you have a smaller dress like I do, just be kind of leery about the fit on this one. You can make it work and it still can look really nice. For me, at this point, I want to dress that this cute and is very comfortable, so I don't think I'm keeping this one. So, so up next, this is a short sleeve square neck, midi, very fitted burgundy dress. I think this is a beautiful color and you could dress this up or dress this down. I liked the square neck of it. It seems very comfortable, very stretchy, kind of like most maternity <laughs> clothing. Here's the dress. I think the color is so beautiful. I just have it paired with some uh, thin black strappy heels. Of course, if you wanna make it a little more casual, you could dress this down with some flat sandals. I am wearing a size small, which is my normal size. And this was really tight, and really hard to get on. So I would definitely size up in this dress. The only other thing besides running a little bit small is how deep this square neck is. When I say it's deep, it's very deep. And as you can see, I'm wearing just a normal bra and that doesn't work with this dress. I would say even just a strapless bra would also not work. It's just so, it's so low. And I guess you could pull it up, but then it just feels very awkward because I want to keep pulling it up on my shoulders, but obviously it's not intended to be like that. It's just a very wide neck top, which is really cute. I would say just wear, make sure you wear like nipple covers or anything. Just know that with this dress, you can't wear a strapless or a normal bra. Here's the side. And the inside, it does have a liner that comes to right here which is nice, so that gives you a little bit extra support and security. Other than that, this dress is very cute. You could wear it to work, wear a blazer over the top, and you're ready to go. Next, I have this navy striped uh, midi dress, and this one, the material, it reminds me, it's a little bit thicker, it's not like a sweater, it is a little bit thicker. Uh, I think it'll be cute, especially for the spring. You can pair it with a jean jacket or you could wear it alone. Of course, you could tie a shirt around your waist. That would be really cute. I think this is just a very classic piece to have. With this one, I sized up to a medium right away, which I'm glad I really I did. 
because it doesn't have a lot of stretch. It has a little bit of stretch, but not really. This outer material is kind of thick. It has two layers, which is also nice. It has an inside liner, and then this outside, which is kind of, it's kind of like a, a terry cloth material. So it's not super stretchy. I just have it paired with these wedges from Target, which I thought are really, really cute. I like on the sides how it's cinched in here. It's flattering. Overall, I like this dress. I think it's a cute, casual dress. You could dress it up a little bit or keep it very casual. Just make sure you size up with this one because there isn't a ton of stretch. Next, I have this button-up v-neck black dress and it's just a little fitted dress. I think it seems very comfortable, very my style. Pair this with a pair of cute flats or sandals and you're good to go. So although very plain, this is kind of my style of dress for sure. I just have it paired with these little nude strappy slides from Walmart. I really like the v-neck line and I like the buttons here. I got, I'm wearing a size small and I wish I would have sized up to a medium. The fit like around the belly and everything fits well, but I will say the shoulders and everything, it's very tight up in the shoulders. Here's the side. I think it's a very flattering dress. It's really, really cute, very practical, really great for the spring and the summer. This is a navy blue maxi dress, and it has a cute crisscross in the front. The back is... It's very stretchy, and I think it would be cute in the spring or in the summer. You could dress this up, it would be good. Just a nice, comfy piece to wear. Here we are. This is as you can probably expect, extremely comfortable, very flowy, very stretchy, everything you want in a maternity dress. I just have it paired with the nude sandals. Dress this up, dress this down, be great for a wedding. I do think it's, the crisscross is flattering, it's nice. I like the sleeves on it. The color is also really great. It doesn't have a tie or a band or anything. Um, very flowy, the length is great. I'm 5'7", and it hits just at the floor. Great in the summer, great for a wedding, just an all around really good uh, maternity dress staple. So I know I mentioned that all the pieces I bought were dresses, but I forgot that I did order one jumpsuit, and this is just a plain black jumpsuit. The legs, I think, are fitted Slash skinny. Um, yeah, this seems really comfortable. I'm always into pieces that are just easy to throw on, especially pieces like this, and you can lay over, you can put a cardigan or a jacket over. So here's the jumpsuit, and I am not a fan of this at all. It's really baggy and it's not form fitted at all. Um, again, you definitely want to wear like a tank or something underneath, I guess, because it's really low. Uh, the pants are fitted, and then it's pretty big. This is a size small. Um, it just, I don't know. It, <laughs> I don't know. It fits tight in the legs, and then it's very loose everywhere else, and it's very deep on the sides and in the front. So for me, this is a no-go, but. Similar to a couple of the other dresses, this dress also is a little bit out of my element, but it's a three-quarter length sleeve V-neck dress, and it's a midi dress. Again, it's not very fitted, so that's why it's kind of out of my normal range of what I gravitate towards, but I thought maybe if you pair it with some cute jewelry and some cute sandals. So I don't hate this dress, but I definitely don't love this dress either. It's very lightweight, so it'd be great for summer or spring. Uh, here's the side. <laughs> I'm just not into dresses that aren't super fitted. For me, I think they make me feel just 
a lot bigger than I am, so that's why I personally don't, but this dress is very comfortable. So one way to make this dress a little bit more flattering and a little bit more fitted probably, if that's what you like, you could tie a belt around here and bring it in a little bit, which would give you a little bit more shape. Overall, like I said, I don't love this dress, but I don't hate it. Uh, but for me, it's really not my style at all. This t-shirt dress, I am very excited to try on. This is just a gray t-shirt dress and the bottom, I believe, yeah, the bottom has that tulip bottom. That's really flattering. So when I first logged onto the site, this dress was one of the very first that I put into my cart. I love a good t-shirt dress. I think they're a really great staple just every day. Unfortunately with this, um, there's a lot of things that I'm not loving about it. So the material is like a terry cloth almost. It does remind me of the navy blue and white striped dress that I had on earlier. So there's not a ton of stretch. I sized up to a medium right away and I'm glad I did. I honestly, I think I would size up to a large because it's tight <laughs> and it's also very short and it keeps riding up and I'm not even moving. And that's one thing that, especially when I'm pregnant, I just don't, I don't wanna have to worry about anything riding up or being too short or having to be extra cautious <laughs> of my movements. So unfortunately, I would say no to this. Up top here, everything feels comfortable, but overall, because it's so tight and it's so short and there's not a ton of stretch, I'm gonna pass on this one. So this next dress seems really fun. It's this polka dotted uh, spaghetti strap maxi dress. And the back looks like that. Doesn't have any stretch to it. I don't know if you can tell, but I like the lace and scalloped detailing. So out of all the dresses so far, this is definitely one of my favorites from the fit to the way it just looks. I'm wearing a size small and this fits great. Uh, here's the side. I just have it paired with these sandals. It's very flowy, very lightweight. I just love the style of it. I love these little tassels. I think they're cute and the fit. In the back here, it has some like elastic too, which is very comfortable. Unlike the floral dress that I tried on earlier with the pink, right in here, this fits perfectly and it's way more comfortable. It hits right underneath here and it's comfortable on the bump. I like this dress. It's very cute and fun. This one, initially, <laughs> I opened it and I had to double check. It kind of reminds me of just a nightgown, but it's a three-quarter sleeve olive green midi dress, I believe. And it does, I think these buttons, they open up. I think you can open them. Cute. And so out of all the dresses, this is definitely one of the most comfortable dresses. Kind of similar to the tie-dye dress, it has, oh gosh, it only has one slit I guess, but it's very flattering. I like that it's not too high. Um, but yeah, so it has a slit there. Um, it has the button-ups here and you can actually button all of it up if you wanted to. I like it open, it doesn't come down too low or anything. I also like the three quarter length sleeve. It's very roomy up here. I'm wearing a size small, it fits great, true to size. I just have it paired with these sandals. And like I said, it's honestly one of the most comfortable dresses out of this entire haul. So that's one thing I love about it. It's simple, but you can dress this up, dress it down a little bit. I would throw over a jean jacket. Um, you could wear like a maxi cardigan with this as well. 
if you wanted. You could wear it with some heeled sandals. This is a great staple for spring while it's still a little bit cooler out, but you want something, you still want to wear a dress and you want it to be comfortable. I like this one a lot. Last but not least, I have this short sleeve green fitted crisscross dress and it's kind of one of the shorter dresses. I'm actually really excited about this. This is right up my alley, very fitted. I think the cuts of this dress, the crisscross and everything, I think it'll be really flattering as well. Seems very comfortable, has all the ruching and the stretch that is necessary these days. Okay, so I really like this. This is very, very comfortable. I also think it's very flattering. Turn to the side again, all the ruching on the side and everything, it's flattering and it kind of <laughs> hides any imperfections that you don't want shown. This top too, this is a nursing um, friendly dress as well, which is awesome. So these can also come down. And the interesting slash kind of unique part is it's kind of like a skirt, it's all connected. So this is all one, but yeah, there's that top, which I think it is helpful then and is what makes it nursing friendly. This is a size small and it runs true to size. This fits really great. Again, very, very stretchy. And I like that this, it's not too short either. So you don't have to worry about making sure you're covered. <laughs> Overall, I think this dress is really great. You could dress it up, you can wear some heels, you could throw a blazer over it, a jacket, you can wear it with flat sandals, make it a little more casual comes in multiple colors. I really like this dress and I think it's a winner. All right, that wraps everything up. I hope this gave you some insight on some pieces that you could wear this spring or this summer. As always, I'll have my sizing and everything linked below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here next time.